Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. It might be odd for me to start with sadness in this greeting, but I'm going to. And I would remind you that often it is out of sadness and loss that we grow to be better than ever we were before. In every sense, this birth we celebrate today did not start out as a joyous thing. It was difficult on more ways than can be imagined, so we sometimes start there. I think the thing that saddens my heart the most from this past year and in these very days we're living through is the blatant exclusion, suspicion, anger, and derision of anyone considered the other. I believe our nation has taken two or more steps backward in our acceptance of the beauty of diversity and built deeper and wider the fraud that we are not what we most assuredly are, a nation of immigrants. Were we to be truthful, we would have to say we are a nation of immigrants that only have this land because we took it from those who were here when we arrived. In a sense, if we deport a few who have arrived just recently, most of the rest of us should be deported too. It's just too easy to make ourselves superior through the use of distance and time when all of us are truly illegal aliens. I'm certainly included in those who simply legitimized our presence here a long time ago, and so we have conveniently forgotten our crime. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. It's a city now in the West Bank, in occupied territory, with a wall around it. If the Holy Family were to make the same journey today, they wouldn't be allowed in. They couldn't finish it. They'd never make it. Jesus was born a Palestinian in a scandalous circumstance as a dark-skinned baby whose family spoke a different language. He was born into poverty. He was born in one of the most lowly places, surrounded by animals with little protection. It was almost as if God wanted to make sure that this could be about as messed up an event in this world as it could be. And it was out of that that our God intended to reveal what redemption in God was all about. It was out of that that God would reveal to us what God's kingdom was and how it was so different from all that we know and believe. It was out of that that we are called to be Christians, to embody and live the life of Christ for all the world to see, to essentially be Christ in the world. What Christmas, this birth, this story, this Jesus calls us to is a rebirth in each of us. So this story we celebrate today is about Jesus, it's about what happened then, but we only retell it now so that it might affect the same in us, might call us to be born again with a new resolve to bring this world closer to the one Jesus hoped for for us. I started with sadness, but I end with joy, I do have that. I pray the joy you feel this day be the joy that comes from knowing the amazing gift our God has given to us and the awesome call on our lives through that gift to transform this world from one of exclusion to inclusion, from one of hate to one of love, from one of despair to one of hope, from one of fear to one of peace. That's what this birth we celebrate today is all about. May that awesome reality be at the center of your Christmas celebration and may it burn in you far past this day. And may you use it to bring about a rebirth of this world we share. Merry Christmas to every one of you.